We're here today at Habitat for Humanity Restore in Alexander County. A uh, really nice store. We've been inside and uh, took a look around and uh, r- just amazed at the products that you have. We're here with Reed Cohn. He is the manager here at the Alexander County Habitat for Humanity Restore. If Folks, if you haven't been out here, I think you'll really be impressed with the selection. Uh, so we're going to get into it a little bit, talk about what you have uh, when the store was uh, established and uh, the donation process, what you accept, and and uh, just how you help the community in general. So, Reed, nice to meet you. Uh, we go, we actually go to church together, so so uh, it's good to be out here. Uh, now, this store opened about what four and a half years ago. That's correct. It opened in January of 2012, I guess it was, in this location. We opened up originally uh, about a block from here in a smaller building, just as sort of a test site while this building was being built. Uh, Bless the volunteers. Uh, everybody chipped in, and we actually built most of the building this year ourselves with volunteers rather than uh, hiring it out done. So it's it's uh, just a community effort all the way around to make this ha- place happen. Right. And uh, we're talking about location. Of course, you're located at 294 East Main Avenue. Uh, if you know where Mizo's Restaurant is, you're, you're right next door to that. And it does make sense that you built your own building, you know, because that's what you guys do. Uh, all the, the profits and the proceeds from your sales here at the store go to build homes right here in Alexander County and for Alexander County people. So we're thankful for that. And uh, you can talk about that if you'd like. If you'd like. 100% of every dime above operation cost goes towards building the homes. And uh, we're proud to say that over time we've accumulated uh, or increased our sales enough that this year we're very close to making enough profit this year to building one whole house. Wow. So that's been our goal is yeah. to get to that point of whatever that we could actually uh, generate enough sales to, to build one house a year. And we're getting close to that thanks to the help of the community and uh, and the number of people that are finding us now. Uh, we were sort of the best kept secret, I think, in, in Alexander County for a long time. Uh, but more people, uh, not just here, but also all around the area, we're drawing in people from Statesville, we're drawing in people from over in Hickory and Granite Falls and so forth that are becoming regular shoppers here. So uh, we're we're tickled to death to see that kind of activity. Oh yeah, we love to bring people in from other communities and take their money. That's great. And and I'll, I'll be totally honest, I've been in here before, but thing it looks like it's changed quite a bit and it's really really organized and the assortment of and the selection is just phenomenal i mean you walk in the door and here's this uh, beautiful dining room table for sixty dollars and you've got this stoneware set for thirty dollars i mean for less than a hundred bucks you've got a, a dining room set maybe no chairs with it but you could probably find that in there too but you know lots of uh, books and cds and dvds and uh, I mean, you know it better than I do, so tell us what all you have in the store here. Oh, yes, we have lots of household items, glassware. Uh, a lot of people come in here that are collecting glassware and, and pick from amongst it. We don't care if they make extra money off of it. That's fine. They can, yeah. Uh, yeah, they can do what they want to with it. But the uh, but we sell it very inexpensively. Uh, we also have building materials. We have carpets. Uh, and this isn't all the time. I mean, it, it changes daily, literally. Uh the biggest mistake that people make in here is going home thinking about it and they come back and it's gone and we don't have the ability to reorder it's just whenever someone out of their kindness or out of the goodness of their heart choose to donate to us and uh, then we can put it up there and and help have some uh, decent places for people to live Uh, we also have doors we have windows we have uh, hardwood flooring we have tile uh, bedroom furniture, living room furniture, uh, china cabinets. I mean, we do about anything, just about anything except clothing, and we d- can't take, of course, used bedding because the state law is on that. Uh, we can't resell that. Uh, but we also we go out and do pickups. We have our own truck, and uh, we will go to someone's home to pick up, like, larger pieces of furniture, or if somebody has, like, uh, a whole bunch of boxes of household goods. We even do for people services of household cleanouts. We've gone in to where an estate situation where parents' homes, the family's gone in and gotten what they want, and they'd like the home cleaned out in order to put it up for sale. We will literally take our people in there, whatever, pack up the stuff out of the cabinets and bring it back here for resale. So it's it's truly a service uh, to them, and 
also takes a little of the emotional issue out of sometimes uh, for the families as well. And uh, But we also keep a lot of stuff out of the dump that way. Uh, yep. Recycle it right back in the community and uh, give it a whole new life. Exactly. I tell you, y'all do so much good for the community, and I'm proud to help spread the good word about Habitat for Humanity here in Alexander County and the Restore. So, uh, Reed, we thank you for that. Um, so we've talked about the donation. So if they do want to stop by and donate, is there a certain part part of the store they need to go to, or do they just pull up and then come in and get directions, or, or what is that? All they have to do is come in and let us know they have a donation. Uh, we can direct them accordingly then. Uh, we will help unload it. Uh, we'll uh, also give a tax receipt for anyone that uh, uh, wishes to have it because we are a nonprofit organization, a 501c3. So donations are tax deductible, uh, you know, within the guidelines of the IRS. And, uh, you know, it's uh, a good way for people to turn around and get a few things out of their own home. You know, uh, I myself, my wife and I are downsizing some stuff, so this is a perfect place to take care of it and not have to have a yard sale and go through all that. Right. Uh, and also, too, we I mean, we pick up after yard sales. Some people have leftover stuff after yard sales. Who wants to haul it back in the house? Uh, we'll come and pick it up on a Saturday afternoon or a Friday afternoon or whatever and, uh, and take care of it for you right. and give you a tax receipt for it as well. Awesome, man. Uh, now, how can folks get a hold of you? You're uh, 635-0832 is the number I had. We do schedule Wednesday through Saturday is the normal times that we're open, as well as that's when we do our pickups and so forth. We're, uh, we're closed on Sundays and Mondays. We're here on Tuesdays to do a little work, so we, uh, but, but we're not open to the public on Tuesday. So it's just Wednesday through Saturday. Uh, Wednesday through Friday, we are from 9 till 6. And on Saturdays from 9 to 4. All right. Very good. Now, we also wanted to talk just briefly about how uh, the support of this store helps build homes. But those homes also build the tax base here in the county. So you're taking, you know, $2,500 to $5,000 acre of land or half acre or whatever and transforming that into a hundred dollars to $150,000, you know, property. Yes, we actually, the, the project that we're currently working on now was a track of land that was about 14 acres. And we are turning that into, that has 25 sites now for building, uh, of which we have built about 10 of them. Uh, that, so that turns around and takes, uh, each one of those acres was probably about uh, six or $700 tax base. Uh, so you multiply that one out times 14 acres. Well, now the valuations after we've put a house there is, is in excess of $100,000 per lot. Uh, the lots are less than an acre. They're about a half acre. So you can see about, you know, you take 25 homes times $100,000 and you figure the tax base on that one. And uh, so, yes, it is contributing heavily to the economy here in, the, in Alexander County. All right, Reed Cohn, he's the manager here at the Alexander County Habitat for Humanity Restore. Again, they're located at 294 East Main Avenue in Taylorsville beside Mizo's Restaurant. Contact them today, 828-635-0832. Reed, thank you so much. We always, we always encourage people to buy local Alexander County. To learn more about our Buy Local Alexander County campaign, visit the Alexander County EDC website, alexanderedc.org. Or give me a call, 828-632-1378. Buy local, Alexander County.